Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, at, start adding some code. We're going to start adding some C sharp code uh, to make some of these things uh, work. Uh, we're going to build a container uh, to be able to use to be able to pass data back and forth between the database and um, the form here for inputting and the list view here for displaying. So let's get started. Um, we can, let's look at what the assignment is. And we see that we just finished this. And now we are going to follow the instructions for step nine to uh, build this employee object. So let's begin by opening up the Solution Explorer and we're going to create a new item a new class file click right click add class file and I'm going to name it employee And now we can see the uh, the file appears right here, and uh, the window opens up to it. <laughs> so let's first uh, make the class public, and then. Uh, for all of the containers, all of the fields in the record, in, uh, in the employee record, let's add some private variables uh, that we can use as uh, temporary storage. So private integer employee number. Private. String, first name, and I'm going to use the convention uh, that the private internal variable names are going to be lowercase, and to access these uh, fields from the outside, uh, those will be capitalized. So you'll see that. But let me finish here. String. Last name, private string, department, private string, phone, and private string, email. Okay, next we need the method name. Public employee and now we're going to add these these little property definitions. So let's start with public integer employee number. And we get return the variable now. And set employee number equals value. Next, we do public string first name return first name
I need to capitalize this. And I'm going to speed this up here. And I believe we are done.